All right, hello everybody. You can see me climbing out of my little hovel hole. And welcome to all the mods expert mode remastered. Where hopefully we're going to have some fun. Just been waiting the night out because it's got a, a mod pack which is extreme darkness or something along those lines which make it almost impossible to see and really quite dangerous so first things first let's have a look at our guidebook sticks and stones to tin so we're going to need to collect 10 string 10 sticks 10 rocks 10 flint now the rocks as we've just seen are lying around on the floor and there's a zombie over there so we won't go that way and I believe the sticks you get from there we go just punching leaves because we can't actually punch well we can punch it but we're not doing anything a little bit more realistic I suppose mind you having said that I've never stood punching a tree so who knows so we'll just punch some leaves gather some sticks then we will go on the great rock hunt of 2017 here comes that zombie. All kitted out, so we will shall leg it until he stops following us. That should be far enough, I would have thought. Eight sticks. I think that was a ninth, yeah. Nine. Uh, a couple of saplings. Come on, sticks and an apple, that might be handy. So thank you for joining me, if this is your first time with us. Welcome. I'm hoping this is going to be a, a new thing, because what I've tried to do in the past, I've tried to do the uh, the mod packs. I'm sure a little, some of you are like me, that you get to a point and you think, can I really be bothered? But I do actually want to complete something so I figured if I stream and enough people actually uh, pay attention it'll give me more motivation to keep doing it. Now I've got to bear in mind that I am a dad, a husband, I do have a job so I can't do eight hour day streamings or whatever but we shall see how we get on and i got my um, I suppose Ethos Lab, to give me a shout out, Hypnotized, B double O, follow all those guys. And uh, a guy called Quill18, who's got me into programming somewhat. Uh, what's this? Flax, let's grab that flax. Because that's going to give us the string that we need. So let's walk around the slick looking for flax now, because we have the. Sticks and stones may break my bones, and names make me cry. Bees stinging me. I'm struggling for more flax here, aren't we? Where do we see that last one? They normally come in groups. That's rice, we can use that to make paper. So I probably just managed to get about an hour in uh, for this stream, just before I have to go to work. Um, pigs having a bath. I'm not seeing much more flax around. Which is a shame because that would have been a nice easy way to grab the string. Um, suppose we could try and find some sheep. Oh, well, can we get string? Because it is expert mode, so yes, we can. Flint and wool. So we're going to need some gravel as well. So let us head. That's got a good chance, so we're heading this direction, west, northwest. We'll see if we see some sheeps, and we are looking for flax, and I might as well pick up some more stones and sticks if I see any lying around, like so. We have got some flax seeds, that might be handy. We'll have a little walk along the beach, dip our toes in the water. Ah, how relaxing. What 
have we got over here? It looks like something purple showing up on the mini-map. Could go and investigate that. I am conscious of the sunlight because it does get scary. There's some sticks and gravel, so we should be able to pick some flint up. Now one thing actually I do know is I can use these to make some daft little tools so to speak so let's plowing through the durability of that might as well use this whole shovel up there we go so we have some flint now now we've just got to find some sheep let's hand these quests in Oh, good food. Yum, 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 yum. More food. Nom, nom, nom. Ooh, that's a good question. Mm, we'll go for the... Man, that's flint and sticking, so we'll get the worms. I've got worms. Ooh. Got an itchy bottom. Funny thing. Funny thing, worms. Kids seem to get it. I don't know, really know how, but there you go. Uh, sheep, 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 sheep. Let's go this way, investigate that monument. Oh, the white thing on the mini map. It is a monument of some sort. Astral sorcery. Okay, looks like we'll have to get into something along those lines then later. But for right now, that possibly a zombie spawner there on the map as well. Just below me, about here. So let's mark that on for future reference. Zombie spawn. There's pigs. Where's all the sheep? I'd like to find some relatively soon. That's auto jump as well. I do not like that. Get off. Skellies, pigs. Can't be that hard to find sheep, surely. There's wolves I can see on the map, which are. Not poison ivy. Who put that in the game? Ridiculous. Dear sheep. Nothing to be afraid of. I don't think I've ever seen a lily pad cope with a full man stood on it before, but there we go. It is a game. We're not playing this for a human simulator. More pigs. More pigs, more pigs, more pigs. Shame we haven't got a pig farm. God, more pigs. sun is starting to go down I really need to find some string of some sort because we can't actually make a bed at the moment which is the point we need magical wood I have a little look so when we get to night time we're just going to have to hunker down magical wood in 1.10 if you don't know is a bookshelf plus a gold ingot plus some XP now the XP shouldn't be an issue but the gold ingot, we can't even make a pickaxe yet, so that might be a bit tricky. Not as tricky as finding sheep though, evidently. <laughs> I don't think I've ever taken this long to find sheep before. It's all new to me. Assuming the spawn that is in this expert mode. But it might look like, imagine not seeing any cows either. 
might have to abandon the hunt until tomorrow morning. Got a little bit of time left. Not much though. There's chickens. There's a zombie coming. Skeleton on the map. And a little autumnal forest. There's some sheep on the mini map, so we will get a bit closer. There's a zombie there, so let us hunker down. Typical. There we go. And we will look at some things we can make. So I know in Infinity Evolved Expert Mode on 1.7 goal really was to get the creative items so let's have a look what we've got item zoom shift z strange okay so we have creative mana pool which is an ATM star fusion crafting so we have 4.3 times 10 to the 7 blocks of cobble for one of those Gaia Guardian's head Opinion Core Nether Star block that's relatively straightforward Quantum Core more Nether Star Sonarium Okay, so it looks like IC2. Osmium Crystal. Crystal Cluster Draconium Wireless Energy Crystal. Diamonds, Wyvern Energy Cores. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. It goes quite far, doesn't it? Okay, so that's pretty crazy. What else have we got? Uh, creative capacitor? No. Um, have we got anything here? Creative flux pack. Requires a creative flux pack, so that's sort of blocked off. Creative jet pack. Again, that looks like that's been blocked. Creative flux capacitor. Yep, we can go for one of those. Same sort of stuff. Starfield creator. Okay. Creative now, some of these are all blocked out, so it looks like we're going to go for have to go eventually for ATM stars. They used to, I'm sure there was a creative tank at one point. There was a creative fluid source. Which isn't actually too bad. Demonically gargantuan drum. Infinite bait pot. Oh, that's in it. Huh. Looks fast as not there. Is there any energy? It sells. Mechanism one. Any uses? Two million RF. Okay, so that's where we're heading anyway, so back in our book we need some string which we can get from the flax. We can create the hatchet, I suppose. And the pickaxe, we can do that now.
That's those sourced. So we'll hand them in. More flint, huzzah. More flint, and we will get some... Now then, coal pellets, ten off. How many torches can we make from those? Makes tiny torches. Mm, I think we'll just get the normal torches. Now we need ten wood. But we do have torches. So I'm quite excited to get through this because I think it's going to take quite a lot of building automation thinking rather than just diving straight in and becoming OP and, oh, excuse me, stretch. Yeah, OP in the first sort of few hours. But the first thing we need to do is get this bed sorted because we can't sit through the nights all the time, can we? Well, we could, but we'd soon get bored. Soon get bored. I can hear zombies. Probably do with making a clock actually, so we can avoid this. Let's have a little clock. More gold. That was a shot. I've just noticed. The stream might be stuttering. I might be dropping frames here, so apologies for that. Let me see if I can find out what's going on. Hmm. Seems to have caught up. Don't need to know what happened then. Good old Virgin Media, right? Now then, how are we going to find out what time of day it is without getting a zombie down here with us? Where is he? Still night time. Probably pop out here, provided it's not a mini zombie. There's the sun. Uh, sun. Yeah, that's right. The sun comes out in night. Mind you, if you're in Australia. Needs daylight. Let's hope that zombie burns up. Then we will go and get those sheep, which I can see just a little east. The night seems long. Seems really long. There we go. Stars look a little different as well. I wonder if that's uh, that astral sorcery thing. Let's grab our torch. Don't really want to leave that there. Get our flint knife equipped. That zombie is skirting about. Might have to deal with him. Okay, let's go. Can't actually see him at the moment. It should be there. That looks like a blizz or something as well. The skeleton that way. Where's that zombie? Trapped in the trees, maybe? Hmm, not 
actually work. Yeah, that is a blizz. Fighting something. Probably the bees. Let's just blast through here. Try to shoot me. Poison ivy got me. I need your wool, Mr. Sheep. There's plenty down here, but there is a creeper around as well, so we do need to be a bit careful. Like it. Creepers follow me. I have a skeleton in that direction. So let us head this direction. There's some more flax. Grab that. Lily of the valley. Just like your grand used to have. <sighs> little dirt path, let's have a little think where we want to pitch up, we've got a bit more time now it's daylight so we're not going to be able to get a proper base going anytime soon but we do need somewhere safe and we do need some water I believe to get the first stone pickaxe and maybe this little bay looks quite good there's some more string Have a quick look at the map. Make sure there's nowhere we'd rather be. Might just head across this way and get more into this area. Now we've got our wool. Oh man. Who thought that was a good idea is beyond me. I don't know anyone that doesn't get bugged by that. Can we get across there? lower as I try and get higher. Keep banging my head. I said we got it, we got it. What's over this way? Chickens, pigs, more sheep just to the north. Which is handy. Heading back towards that zombie spawn, which is good because no doubt we are going to have a need for a spawner at some point in the future. More poison ivy. I'm going to have to start looking out for them. Let's start really get on my wick. He says as he gets another one. I'm not dying to poison ivy. Hello, chickens. Thanks for your egg. And there's some cows as well. So this might not be too bad a place. Shame the grass is a bit pale. Etho wouldn't be very happy. And a nice cave. That might not be too bad to... If we light this up and block it off, we've got a ready dug area. Go and make sure nothing down this end too sinister. Looking good, we've got some coal. We'll just have to manufacture ourselves some. Uh, what am I trying to say? a doorway or something. We can make the door here. We take this tree. We can grab some dirt and block the other entrances off. That sounds to me like a splendid idea. So we need to block that off and was there a way in down here? That's just a dead end, so that's perfect, I would say. Let's grab some of this dirt. We can do 
do some terraforming as well when we get some better tools. Not too worried at the moment, just really want to get somewhere safe. Get a water strainer going. And then I suppose I'll have to start thinking about going to work, which is a shame. This where we were? Torches tell me the answer is yes. out enough just to get rid of any spawning spots um, could just get some more of course better so we just need to block this area off too really plow through these tools mm, excuse me let's get a bit further away so we don't start cutting into our roof that's looked like an ender seed we would have to start thinking about a farm as well because food seems to be huh, can't even punch dirt like so so are we safe is the question I for one think that it was an ender lily uh, I, for one, think the answer might be yes. Get rid of all these weeds, and then we will look at the water strainer recipe. Actually, we could put a door on that other end, couldn't we? For easy access. Another shovel, spade, whatever you want to call it. Spade, that sounds like an English word. And have we got enough? Well, let's just make sure we can hand our quest in before we start using it. Yes, we can. Uh, fishing rod. String we've got. Yeah, so we need to make woven cotton. ourselves a door first. Voila. Uh, probably a chest wouldn't make too. Bad a call at the moment either. So one more of you. By one, I mean more than one. I'll go for a double chest because I have. Whoa, what's that recipe? Space click fires everything in there. We'll put this. next to it so we have access through the crafting terminal yep terminal yeah we're 
applied energistics already, folks. Like so. Let's get this coal as well. Probably should get some blocks to make sure I can get back out. What's that? Does that say? Unexpected minerals. Okay, need to make a mental note that they are there. Okay, so we've got enough for torches now, and then we need to make our water strainer. I've had a little prat around with it, so I do know some of the recipes. Um, I'm going to need more wood. Can we grab some before? Anyone decides they can come and get us. I see a zombie legging towards me. Torches home. So the water strainer is like compressed logs, I suppose. There we go. Plus a couple of sticks. And we drop that into the water with this strainer, and then that gives us well, there you go. Clay, sand, gravel, stick, dirt, flint bone, <coughs> excuse me, or sharpened flint, 90 uses, so I'll tell you what we will do, we will make another one, but that ain't going to last long, believe me, A solidified experience, so if we look at a pick first level is a couple of sticks that's fine compressed cobblestone we can organize that nine blocks and then this sharpened flint so that's why we're going for the water strainer we are going to need nine cobblestone though so there's no reason why we can't gather that while giving ourselves a bit more room to play with Room. Um. <laughs> Nothing lasts forever in the cold November rain said someone sometime um, replace that that's that dirt stuff another spade dirt dirt yeah let's get another spade Habitable, but it's a dirt hut, so that shows you how high my standards are. Here, zombies again. I would like to raise that a little bit. This should be alright because I'm figuring I'm actually digging down a bit of coal. Which I think we can get with the 
In fact, we can, can't we? The stone pickaxe, because that's what the first quest was. Sticks to stone to tin. Getting all the coal. that before it despawns. Level that off a little bit. We'll do it like that. Because we're going to need another shovel. Spade. Beautiful. Let's just raise this roof. Not like a crowd somewhere cheering and raising the roof. I literally raising the roof. Nice that we get a lot of coal to start with, that's handy. Nice if we had a faster pickaxe, though, that's for sure. We're going to need to make another one, aren't we? That's why you have to collect all that flint and stick then. there, which is going to be another vein of more flint, man. We do have a lot of coal now, so that is good news. I see ya. So yeah, once we've got this coal, we're going to set the water strain up, then I'll, I've will i got an appointment for work. And depending on how long that goes, it could be back in an hour, it could be back in five hours, it could be back in five minutes. We shall see. All the coal. dump this and see if we can see what time of day it is. Oh, the sun looks to be coming up. Now yeah, I've got over a stack of coal already, that's groovy. So what we'll do is we'll get, have we got our water stream? We have, we will. Just go and dump that. I think these go one block below the surface. Like so. Then you put the net on, then you can click on the inventory. You see it's starting to gather things in for us. I can see you on the map. Hello. Got ya. Here comes another. That knife's gonna run out, so just need to be a bit careful.
Whoa. Ow, that hurt. Using, I'm going to have to run. Eight, 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 eight. The creeper coming up behind me now as well. Let's see if we can get something to sort these guys out. Uh, another knife. Mind you, the axe was quite good. We'll try both. Creeper to the right, where's the zombie to the left? Got stuck on the door. Man, I've dropped me your armor. Drop me something. Lapis boots. Here comes the creeper. Let's just see if we can draw him away from the wood house, not wood, about dirt, ah. safe again, right, where's our little pond, here it is, yeah, only 18 uses left, but we are get, gathering some nice useful items 13 mansion now aren't we there we go so that's see how quick they go we will have a look at what is um, the next recipe for it what's this one iron okay so that's a little while off so let us look at claiming these so we need 10 sharpened flint and 10 clay there's the 10 clay Sharp and flint looks like it's going to be a little while away. And I think, folks, I'm going to have to get cracking. So thank you for joining me, and I'll, uh, well, hopefully see you soon. Cheerio!